All right, hey everyone. Uh, time for another tutorial to help you guys broadcast uh, live. So for anyone who is interested in streaming live, or for anyone who wants to know exactly what to use to stream live and how to set it up, um, this is basically the video for you. So I made this in response to a friend of mine, um, Gold, who made up a video not knowing how to, you know, stream his computer, his desktop live. Um, most people do it for gaming, but it doesn't have to be for gaming. It could be just yourself. It could be. Um, you want to show off a video or whatever um, it, and it doesn't even have to be on Justin TV or Twitch TV so uh, what you do first off as I mentioned before uh, in a lot of my other tutorial vids um, what I use to stream is exploit and once you go ahead and install it and you've got that set up um, you can follow the instructions that I have here on the screen and you honestly in, in just like 10 minutes you'll be up and broadcasting live so I'm gonna walk you guys through it uh, the first thing you want to do is you have to give XSplit permission to to go ahead and send your data to whatever website you're sending it to. Now XSplit has a limited amount of sites, but I think it's enough that whatever you're broadcasting to, it's probably there. So it has Ustream, it has Twitch, it has Justin TV, um, it has a bunch of different sites that people broadcast to. So check to see if your site is there. Once your site is there, you have to log in. So again what you do is you go to this tools tab as you can see here you go to general settings you click the channels tab you add your channel info which is your password and your login and then XSplit has permission to actually send the data through to that website and then the website will broadcast it live that's the first thing you have to set ev everything up um, once you've got that set up and XSplit has permission to actually send the data out what you want to do is decide on your resolution I actually spelled it wrong there <laughs> so what what does resolution mean exactly resolution affects how detailed um, your picture is going to be you can have a very little detailed image or you can have a very very large very detailed image and it, and depending on how good your uploading is is how good your resolution can be your uploading is going to limit um, how good quality a picture you can do so if you look here I've got this set up uh, here at the side this is a, a picture I took um, if you go to the view settings in Justin or in uh, XSplit, you go down to resolution. You've got a bunch of different choices, right? Um, if you're gonna be sending this to YouTube or you're gonna you're gonna be sending it to another site, you probably want to be in a widescreen format. So all right, so what it means is you, what you want is you want something to be wider than you want it to be square. So you want a rectangle type shape. Um, instead of a square type shape and you know which ones those are because the ones that are widescreen are 16 by 9 ratio and the ones that are square shaped are 4 by 3 so personally I, I recommend especially if you're going to be sending stuff to YouTube if you're going to be sending it to other websites or even if you want it to look good on a widescreen monitor which most monitors today are widescreen you want to um, pick one of these 16 by 9 options as you can see here this is 16 by 9 this is 16 by 9 and depending on where you which one you pick is how good your quality will be so the best quality in this list of selections is this one the 1920 by 1080 if I were to pick this one which is actually higher than my setting here I would have an even better quality picture but then again I'm also sending out more data it's a lot harder on my internet and I've noticed my internet is, has a little bit of trouble sending this out so I, w I won't really um, upload uh, at 1080 this, this is 1080p right here that's where the 1080 comes from is the second number this is 720p as you can see here and then it works its way down if you want you can start with the first one which is 640 by 360 if, if that works out well you can jump up if that works out well you can jump up the best thing I recommend is I think most computers will be handle will be able to handle this 768 by 432 so yeah I, I would definitely recommend you picking one of the 16 by 9s and uh, if, if you just don't know which one to pick you can start off with the 768 by 432 and if you think you've got a really good um, internet provider that you have a lot of bandwidth then you can jump up to this 1280 by 720 where I'm at um, that's your first step is your resolution so the third thing you really want to do here is you want to tweak your settings for uploading and broadcasting so what that means is when you broadcast there's a lot of different um, settings that you can change 
inside of XSplit. And since I don't have time to go over all of them, I've already made a video here. And if you were, if you go to this video, which I'll put down in the comments, um, it'll walk you through step by step what each setting does and what you should be putting it to. And then if you want, you can always look at this uh, later. You don't have to do this right now, this minute. Um, right now, just to finish things off, we just have two more things to do. We uh, will go through the home screen, and then uh, broadcasting is a cinch. You just click the broadcast button. So this is the, the main screen for uh, XSplit. The way it works is you've got a bunch of different um, ways you can set up your screen. And I'm on screen two, as you can see here. This is my main screen. If I were to click any of these buttons, it would switch to a different type of setup. By setup, I, I'm, I mean this little area down here. This area allows you to add different objects, change their sizes, make things look differently. And once you've got something that looks really nice, like if you see here, I've got my Be Right Back button. Um, whenever I'm streaming live and I have to go take a break, I click it, and then you, it goes to this. This is already pre-set up. It's saved. It's, it makes it so it's, no, it's not a hassle for me. I don't have to reset it up. Especially if someone sets up something that takes them a long time. You've got all these different scene sources that will allow you to switch through them. Um, through pre-recorded, pre-made uh, versions of your home screen. So that's the, that's the first step, is understanding how these are important, these are beneficial. The second thing is you want to be able to edit and add stuff. To edit and add stuff, you just press this Add button, and it has a list of different things you can add here. So if I move my screen up a little bit, that's my background there. I'm doing this so that you guys can see when I press this what different types of things I can add. I can add a camera so if I want to put my face in the corner as you guys see some people doing um, on uh, gaming streams. Um, I can add a media file which is like uh, some sort of movie. Um, screen region is I can add a part of my screen. Right, right now I've only added p a part of my full monitor. Um, well, all you do is you click it and you drag to the part that you want to view and then once you let go that's the part you see. So if I click that now and then I go ahead and I drag just this area right here on my monitor that's all you see right here and this has this is now the top uh, screen region area so if I if I switch here I switch like that um, I switch back with these arrows this these arrows allow you to change priority so whatever's on top you'll see first and whatever's on on uh, bottom here you'll see second and that's important because if I have a large image and I put that on top you won't see anything underneath it so you want to situate that correctly it'll give you all sorts of information where these these numbers tell you where on the screen that you're actually showing um, and uh, sometimes you've got like for instance in one of my streams I've got like a little picture in the corner here and that's sort of like a watermark that's always on top first and then the rest of my screen is just uh, the game so that's how you uh, situate your priority so there's like a, there's a bunch of different things you can do just go through this list play with them figure them out and set up your home screen exactly how you want it to be and then you can make alternate home screens for different needs like I like I have my bureau right back I've got my main screen here I'm doing this on a secondary screen so I don't ruin uh, the setup that I have here um, and then uh, once you've gotten that set up you've got your specific scene set up here um, there's another option that comes up by right clicking so let's say I've got an image over here and I want to change some things about that image so let's do that right now let me add so you to add an image you would add a media file and once you've clicked that add media file I'll go ahead and quickly add an image alright so I added this boat and sunset so the third type of way that you can customize things on XSplit is if you right click on them you have a bunch of different options and, uh, to change here. So cropping allows you to cut an image down a little bit if it's gone too high. Um, you can cut left, cut right. Um, I don't mess with 3D settings here. Positions you probably don't want to mess with. 
I do mess with color sometimes. So this right here is transparency, this 255. Transparency just means how much... Oh, oops, so I just see how this picture was getting priority over this. Let me move this a little so you guys can see it better. All right, so this transparency just means how much of the image you want to show, how much of the background bleeds through, and you can play with that to to make some very interesting effects with the uh, XSplit. Um, you've got contrast here. This is like very high exposure. This is like very low exposure, I think. You can play with that. You've got brightness settings that you can mess with here. You can make something very bright, very dark. So if you want just like a gloomy feel. Um, you've got a bunch of different images you can all mess with. And that all happens by right clicking on something that you've added. And then once you right click, you can actually drag the contents if you hold the top part right there. Um, so that's that's another level of customization. You've, so now, what have, what have we got so far? Let's summarize. You've got this add uh, place here where you can add media. You've got these scenes here that where it allows you to change things. You've got this priority thing, which allows you to um, put things in front of other things, like especially if you want one picture to be in front of everything else. So let's say I want this picture to be really small. I can go to the edge here, shrink it down shrink it right and then um, I've got it right in my corner and uh, let's say I want to make it see through a little bit I can go ahead set that up by going to the color and allowing a little bit of a bleed through effect so now the background will bleed through a little bit here um, now that I've got that set up I can save this scene go to another scene do something else um, you can name your scenes differently if you go up there at the top. So yeah, you've got a lot of different customization options. You've got these scenes here. You can add different sources to your, to your main page here. Um, the, the final thing I want to show you guys, if we can pull this image back up, the last thing I want to show you, and let's make it fully transparent, um, sometimes you want an image to take up the whole space and you want it to be stretched. So if you don't want it to, to stay in the, the shape that it's in, the shape that you've gotten it, you want to change its ratio, you right click on it, go to position and click this keep aspect ratio, you uncheck it. By unchecking it, it will conform to whatever shape you want. Because sometimes people, they, they don't like the way that the square box forces it into certain shapes. If you want to have full control over everything, you can get rid of the aspect ratio. Um, but be careful because sometimes if you change uh, an image too much, you can, your eye can tell that, hey, this is stretched out incorrectly. This doesn't look like the way that a picture should look. So use that sparingly. Um, be careful how you use it, but that's the last sort of customization that I wanted to show you guys. We'll go ahead and remove it by clicking the remove button. That's basically it. Now, the last thing you do is you click broadcast and you broadcast. So step one, we'll just go ahead and go through this again. You go through your general settings, you input your password and your login so that Xlet has permission to broadcast in the first place. Step two, sec uh, set your resolution. Step three, tweak your settings for uploading and broadcasting because there's a bunch of settings. The way you do that, by the way, is you go to Tools and you click on um, General Settings. Once you've done that, there's a bunch of different like things that you can change. Uh, you mess with your home screen. I showed you guys a bunch of different ways to do that. And then you just broadcast. That's basically it. So I think this video is long enough. I hope that helped you guys. And uh, I hope this helps Gold um, in his mission to go ahead and uh, broadcast on Justin TV or Twitch TV. Um, go ahead and leave questions in the comments and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.